Unlock the hidden chapters of our history and journey into the realms beyond imagination. Unravel the captivating tale of our origins where extraordinary forces may have shaped humanity's evolution. Amid scholarly and knowledgeable scientists, discover those who courageously challenge the mainstream narrative with well-documented facts. Journey with us as we navigate through conflicting perspectives and seek to understand the enigmatic truths that have been overlooked. From ancient texts to uncharted territories, follow the clues that defy mainstream explanations. Prepare to question everything we know about our past and embrace the enigma that lies possibly beyond the boundaries of our understanding. Join us on this thrilling expedition into our past, challenging evolution theory. Consider this, which scenario holds greater potential? One, life purely evolved on our planet, giving rise to humanity, or two, were interstellar intelligent life forms somehow involved in our existence? Let's explore the possibilities. Otto Binder and Max Flint point out that there are serious doubts about the validity of the evolution theory. We are not quarreling with natural selection, as it applies to other creatures, but we do state unequivocally that Darwinian evolution and natural selection do not apply to mankind at all. Approximately 35,000 years BC, they say, there was a transition from the Neanderthal race, who were not our ancestors to Cro-Magnon who are presently believed to be our biological ancestors. And the greatest riddle of all comes up. Where did Cro-Magnon man, the first of our Homo sapiens species, come from 35,000 years ago? Neanderthal man endured both cold and mild cycles with apparently equal success. He continued to exist in Western Europe right up to about 35,000 years ago, and then he abruptly disappeared. The evolutionary tendencies that he exhibited during this period are extremely puzzling, for he seems to have gotten more primitive, not less so. He had a big brain, but small mental capacity. He was a mass of muscle. He was replaced suddenly by Cro-Magnon, who was a completely separate species. The early Cro-Magnons of 35,000 BC had a larger average brain case than we do today. Cro-Magnon is called our direct ancestor, meaning that by gradual and subtle transitions he became modern man. There is no blending, no gradual shading. The disappearance of Neanderthal man and the advent of Cro-Magnon man at approximately the same time is one of the truly big stumbling blocks to the evolution theory, for they are non-sequitur species. Neanderthal most decidedly could not be the direct ancestor of Cro-Magnon, for they were two distinctly different types of human, physically and even skeletally. Anomalous brain expansion. Otto Binder and Max Flint mention, Cro-Magnon appeared with mysteriously improved skeletal characteristics and with a cranial capacity that is amazingly in excess by a hundred cubic centimeters of that of modern man. A similarly large degree of brain expansion occurred in absolutely no other species on Earth in all the ages of the past, nor has any genus known evidence of brain mutation of a comparable magnitude since antiquity. Classical evolution theory simply cannot account for these two events. First, the abrupt disappearance of a whole well-entrenched species, plus, the abrupt debut of a better species. Second, the fact that the Neanderthal species retrogressed and became more primitive as time went on. Natural selection and survival of the fittest are square pegs that cannot be hammered into those round holes. Exploring Alternative Explanations James Shreve, author of The Neanderthal Enigma, Solving the Mystery of Modern Human Origin and co-author of Lucy's Child, The Discovery of a Human Ancestor, states that an all-important transition did occur, but it happened so close to the present moment that we are still reeling from it. Some here in the vestibule of history, just before we started keeping records on ourselves, something happened. 
that turned a passably precocious animal into a human being. A scientist by the name of Gunther Rosenberg remarked, Man is a unique animal. He stands out like a sore thumb when comparisons are made with his cousins, the apes. The differences are more numerous than the similarities. Darwin's theory of evolution is simply unproven. Surprisingly enough, Charles Darwin expressed worries about the contradictions and fluctuations that perplexed his concept of human development. Darwin himself admitted at times that mankind in small ways fitted his evolutionary theory, the least of all creatures. Alfred Wallace, his contemporary formulator of the theory of evolution, was even more emphatic and forerightly said that man was an exception to the orderly operation of biological laws, and that natural selection could not have operated in this case. What the true answer was he hazarded no guess. Clifton Wilson, the chariot still crash. Alan Alford, another scientist open to the concept of alien intervention, says, Homo sapiens has acquired a modern anatomy, language capability, and a sophisticated brain, well beyond the needs of its everyday existence, apparently in defiance of the laws of Darwinism. There are a number of possible explanations for this anomaly. One is that mankind evolved in the sea, and that crucial fossil evidence is thus missing. Another is that Darwinian theory itself has a missing link. And a third explanation is that the genes for modern man were suddenly implanted by an intelligent extraterrestrial species who colonized the Earth. Pre-Adamic and Adamic because of the previous statements and the text that follows, is it safe to say that a rational person would consider that there was unworldly intervention that produced a race that suddenly emerged? But not only that, did so with both human and alien DNA also. That means there were humans on Earth further back than what is accepted or admitted by mainstream academics. On top of that, alien intervention took place. The Hebrew Bible states that God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Fascinatingly, the term create, as employed in the Bible, is an inadequate translation of a word that signifies building. A more accurate rendition of this word would be to build or construct. That is thought to be an indication of genetic engineering. As mentioned, there was a first group that emerged with, or constructed with, human and alien DNA. Further research suggests they are considered as a failed experiment in the fact they would not serve their creators. According to fragments in diverse ancient texts, the first race was intelligent and godlike, but it's then mentioned that there was a second race that were less endowed. Another indication of genetic engineering? The first group had power to rival and even outdo their creators. The second had no such ability or inclination. They were endowed with intelligence. They saw and instantly they could see far. They succeeded in seeing. They succeeded in knowing all that there is in the world. When they looked, instantly they saw all around them, and they contemplated in turn the arc of heaven and the round face of the earth. But the Creator and the Maker did not hear this with pleasure. It is not well that our creatures know all, the large and the small, they said. What shall we do with them now? Let their sight reach only to that which is near. Let them see only a little of the face of the earth. It is not well that they say, perchance are they not by nature simple creatures of our making? Must they also be gods? The second group created by genetic manipulation. Let us make him who shall nourish and sustain us. What shall we do to invoke in order to be remembered on earth? We have already tried with our first creations, our first creatures, but we could not make them praise or venerate us. So then, let us try to make obedient, respectful beings who will nourish and sustain us. 
I will create a primitive man shall be his name. I will create a primitive worker. He will be charged with service to the gods that they might have their ease. Sumerian creation epic. As we delve deeper into the enigmatic past, exploring the possibilities of ancient encounters and cosmic connections, a veil of uncertainty shrouds our understanding of human origins. The journey is far from over, and the questions continue to outnumber the answers. Are we the result of a remarkable evolutionary leap? A missing link? Or perhaps the offspring of extraterrestrial intelligence? Are we able to find out who these creators are by name that are mentioned in the ancient text and perhaps their first creations? Join us on this expedition of discovery for the mysteries of our past are vast and waiting to be unveiled. Stay tuned for more revelations for the journey has only just begun.